Welcome to Kanpai Planet, I'm Mac, and today I'm at the Tenryo Hita Whiskey Museum, Japan's largest whiskey museum. I'm going to be checking out some of the other amazing attractions in Hita City in Oita Prefecture down here in Kyushu, and then I'll be back here this evening to check it out. いらっしゃいませ。こんばんは。あ、こんばんは。はい。はい、えっと、マクと申します。あ、あの、高島と言います。高島さん。はい。本当に。はい。どうぞ。信じられない。あ、ありがとうございます。紹介していただいていいですか
I love that. Masan. Hey, hey, Masan Corner. Masan, hey. Ellie. Hey. From the hey. classic NHK morning hey. drama. Then, first, this is the Santori Whiskey Sales Manager, Tori Shinjiro. Yeah. Hey. で鳥居社長とマスさんが日本の第一号ウイスキーのこの白札というのを作ったんですけど、yeah. 第一号のウイスキーこちらにあります。こ<笑>れ<笑><笑>、うん、白札。So this is a bottle of Suntory's 白札 the white label, Japan's first real whiskey. So this whiskey from 1929.、うん、I can't believe it's right in front of me here. オリジナル。<笑> I think I'm in shock to think I've come all the way from Tokyo to Hita, Oitaken,、はいはい、to see something like this. It really just goes to show this country's depth of love、はい、for whiskey goes even into some of our smallest towns and cities and villages. I'm truly blown away. How did you get it? 酒屋さんのあの戦前からしているオーナーがもう持ってたやつをもう,もう頭を下げて頭を下げてもう何回も何回も通ってそしてやっとあの売っていただいたやつがこれです、wow. はい、そしてこれは核の1号ボトル核の1号ボトル And next to it this is one of the original 1937 bottles、うん A little bit of whiskey left.、Mm-hmm. Original. But whiskey is a little bit. It's 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 a little bit. This is Before it was renamed、うん、Akadama Sweet Wine,、うん、this is Suntory's original product. It's the reason why Suntory is called、うん、Suntory because、うん、of this Hinomaru Akadama, right? Dakara Suntory.、はいうん、ここ yeah, so、うん、the original、うん、company name、うん、wasn't Suntory, it was Kotobukiya. This is a very valuable cabinet right here. If you come to visit, please. Be careful around this area. There's some insane Japanese whiskey heritage right here. Please, please. Taketsuru Noto. Ah,、uh, the Taketsuru Notebook.、Uh. That's his notebook from when he went to Scotland. 1920年 Taketsuru 先生が勉強してきた時の実習ノートになりますそしてこのノートがあったから日本のウイスキーができるようになりましたこれが原点です十数年前に日課ウイスキーの役員の方が特別に私にこれ寄贈してくれました全く同じものを複製してあのそれを特別に私いただきました That is fantastic The notebook itself is an incredible thing but the story behind it and how you have a copy is,、uh, is equally special <笑> All that knowledge that Taketsuru gained In his three internships in Scotland, distilled, pun intended, into this notebook that was the foundation for the building of the Yamazaki distillery. And then beyond that, when Taketsuru built his own distillery up in Yoichi. And down here, also, all of these original old Nika whiskey bottles, <laughs> like this one, Nanen. 1900, これは40年代かな40年代、うん、そうですね。わお、うん。あの、すべてオリジナルで、あの、全部未開封です。わお、うん。He hasn't unwrapped the paper, so we'll have to,、uh, we'll have to persuade him to do that another time. Takashima san, it's so great because you've got such a variety of memorabilia. I love, for example, these old signs. このサインは本当に素敵です。ああ、かっこいいですね。昔の古いあの当時も当時ものです。フォントも面白いね。はい、とブランディングも面白いですね、はい。Everything is just so dense. Wherever you look, you just see something new. Okay, here's a question for you. 一番面白いのは、一番のうちの面白いというか宝はですね、やっぱりあうちのやっぱり上流釜ですね。こちらです。
これが私の一番の宝です。Wow. はい、これは日課ウイスキー創業者、はい、竹鶴正隆先生が88年前に北海道の余市で創業当時に作られました短式蒸留機のこれオリジナルです。本物。本物。はい。It takes a lot to make me speechless. Hey. First, <laughs> I don't know what to say. これが1999年に私がこれ購入売っ,て売っていただいたんですが、日課ウイスキーの役員会までかけて、1年以上交渉して、やっとの思いで購入できたのがこれです。I just, I'm, I'm so in awe to be standing in front of such an incredible piece of Japanese whiskey history. It's all very well, people around the world paying lots of money for the bottles. And there are some great collections of great Japanese whiskey bottles on the planet. But this is something else. This is a piece of the literal fabric of the production. Of those bottles. And it's right here in front of me in Hita City. Yeah, just a minute, this is a picture. Same, this is. So, just to be clear, this is a copy. This is a copy. This is a Just checking. <laughs> the original and still the best. 日課ウイスキー、はい、竹鶴武さん、ah, the second マスさんの息子さん。Yeah. This is a letter to Takashima さん、うん、from Takeshi Takatsuru,、うん、congratulating him on the opening of the museum、うんうん、in 2011. 日課ウイスキーの社長、会長、相談役まで行って、日課ウイスキーの一番偉い方です。At the time, the most important living personage embodying everything that Nika represented. What an honor! Well, I think it's a mega psycho. And the one that I think is the most important thing is the one that I think is the most important thing. The one that I think is the most i m p o 手で掘っていったファーストモデルです。これでこちらはサントリーウイスキーのあのアンクルトリスディスプレイ。Yeah. はい。全部オリジナル。I love the way that they're side by side here as well.、うん、ニカとサントリーはちょっと、うん、まあまあライバルライバル。ライバルライバルですね。うんうんうん、でもこのハクブスカンはみんなは一緒に。一緒です。大好きこれ。全部。もう全部一緒ファミリーファミリーウイスキーウイスキーファミリーセカイのウイスキーファミリーもうファミリーはい Everywhere I look Let's just go around here Takashima さんはい We're standing somewhere talking and then I spot something that would be the centerpiece of another museum For example this、uh, Sammy Davis Jr. ああサミー・デイビス Jr. そうサミー・デイビス・ジュニアのサントリーの CM は本当に素晴らしい。素晴らしい。うん。サントリー。ちょっと待ってください。私が一番好きなウイスキーはジョニー・ウォーカーです。集める大きな一つのきっかけなんです、私の。うちの父親、ファーザーもジョニー・ウォーカー飲んでました。Oh, so it's been passed down うんうんうん、うん、from your father、はい、to you. So it's the love of Johnny Walker. もちろん飲むのもこういったデザインもすべてがやっぱ好きなんですよね。Yeah. はい。I see you've got many generations here of the. これは最初からのファーストモデルです。Yeah. 全部ディスプレイ人形はもう約百年前の人形です。これは。はい。この辺のやつはまずなかなかないと思います。And this bottle of Johnny Walker Red, it's a Kanadeska. これはもう
1960年代これは。We've talked a lot about Japanese whiskey. スコッチも。あ、スコッチも大好きです。いいですはい。スコッチの中で一番面白いのは。あ、スコッチであれば。面白いのは。これが面白いです。このボトルです。このボトルは。千九百二十年。上流で。当時アメリカが禁酒法時代って時代がありましたギャングのアルカポネゴッドファーザーその時のこれは当時の闇のオリジナルボトルです1920そうですそうです I opened over 100 years old、うん、old overhaul そうです rye whiskey はいあのオリジナル<笑> Oh my goodness ここに1920ちゃんと入ってますまた未開封のまんまです。Another speechless moment. If you're a drinks fan, you're gonna have many of them when you come to this museum. You'll just be staring at stuff and you'll be thinking, how does this even exist? How did it get to Hita? What an incredible job Takashima san has done to assemble this collection. All these thoughts are gonna be running through your mind in parallel as you just enjoy the eye candy in front of you. And is this the oldest, i c h i b a n f u r u i Ah, so it's not. Mkou ni Edo Jitai no bin, and Jin no bottle m a r i m a s Oh, you say you got a gin bottle. Jin, <laughs> Edo, Edo Jitai. Kore uchi no Toshin Dai. Watashi no mo Johnny Walker, Daiski na. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oranda no Rotterdam. So it's from Rotterdam, and it's come over during the Edo period. but... Edo period is long. So, 1750年から1800年ぐらいかな。So we think somewhere between 1750 and 1800. どうやって<笑>これは骨董のオーナーが持ってたやつをもうお願いしてお願いしますお願いしますってから売ってもらったやつですねこれ。タクシーマさん saying this may be the oldest because who knows there might be something even older. That he's forgotten about, buried somewhere in this incredible treasure trove. With so much here, you must have a database,、うん、right? Database, muri muri. Deki nai, deki nai. Nai, nai. Nai, nai. Nai. Zenbu, ataman no akane hai ter. Nai. Muri muri. Koko ga mezashi desu yo. Kore hen ga, uchi no ne, single malt whisky. コレクションこのこの辺りは結構これボーモアとかこの辺は珍しいです全部うんあとはねもう一つ面白いのがあるんですこちらですこれがボトルロック1800年代って聞いてるんですけどこの鍵をカチャッと開けて取ってしなければ取れないんですボトルが遊び心かもしれませんがただこの台自体がむちゃくちゃゃく重たいんですこのもうこのこれが、うん、むっちゃもうもううううううっちなる感じはいうん、wow. ね、I've never seen anything like this with my own eyes、うん、This is the smallest whiskey bottle in the world、うん、It's in the Guinness Book of Records White Horse ホワイトホースこれギネスブックオブレコードって入ってるでしょ He's in the manga. Cooking Papa, Kokobuchino, Tenryo Hita, Whiskey Museum. So, Ste, Kore, Watashi, Watashi. Uchino, Kotoshi, Hai, Koshiro Takashima, Takasa, De Ichiwa, Manga no, Shujinko, Ni, Kore, Zenbu, Kore, Hai, Tokuda. I think on that note, it's time to actually go for a drink at the bar. 飲みましょうかはい、もう飲めますよ、全部。All right. はい、行きましょう。はい、これが1940年代。日課ウイスキー。こっちは日課ウイスキーの1960年代、うん、の飲めますけど、高いです。はい。いいあとはもうあの、結構これはお客様と話し合って決めます。お互い納得のいく金額を。OK、わかりました。はい、<笑>そうです。
I suspect that negotiation may be improved by having a dram in front of me before we get on to something like a uh, 1940s Nika whiskey. So, I know what I can do. I know yeah, I love that. This is from the, the four bottles they released from 2014 to 2017. This is the 2015, which was fantastic. Oh, lovely. Mm. The 10 year single cask. The 12 year, yeah, the William Vanillic. Mm. So, this is one of the Yoichi Distillery exclusives. Now, you can still get the William Vanillic, albeit the no age statement bottle, but this is from the glory days when they actually sold the 12 year, and it was a beautiful thing. <laughs> and this single cask is absolutely incredible. I mean, for example, even down there you've got the high nika. High nika, what is this? Old high nika. This is Tolis whiskey no 1970 This is Look at these liquid pieces of Japan's whiskey history. It is uh, really quite uh, something. I mean, wow. Ah yes, this is the mm. the Yoichi uh, no age statement from before the age Mageddon. So I've gone for a discontinued Nika whiskey, the Taketsuru 17, one of my favourites. What a perfect place to have something that isn't around anymore. So while I savour my Taketsuru 17. I'm going to ask Takashima-san a bit about this bar. ここの建物はもともと映画館跡全部改装しました。すごい金額かかりましたけどね。うちのこのカウンターは北杉の樹齢100年のカウンターです。Wow, <笑><笑> actual Hita Cedar, which they're super famous for in this area. ちゃんとがこの照明は昭和初期です。Wow. <laughs> it's not only the collection itself that's incredible, but the environment that is spectacular. It's it's only in places like this that you can really get to try some of these rare bottles, all part of Japan's whiskey journey. And this is a bottle of Tories from the 70s. Hmm. I'll put that one down to the educational experience. Super Ashi. Are you there?